All right, welcome back. Hopefully this will be a quick video. Just wanted to address a couple of comments that came through in the last asking about how do I utilize the EPG sources that I listed in the descriptions below. So as you may have noticed, I'd list a couple of sources that are external to that within uh, IPTV editor that I've used. And as well as I will show you one that I have seen, but I have not used before. So your mileage may vary on that one, but let's go ahead and start with the use case. So say I am in my IPTV and I see that on Motor Trend, it says that Hot Rod Garage is supposed to be on right now. But as I am watching, that is not what I'm showing. This is a wrong EPG. What I would then do is go pursue external EPG sources. And let's show you where I would upload those. So first we would go into this top right corner and we would click on this add external EPG sources. And I'll show you how to get this information. I just want to show you where it sits first. And you would enter in the URL for your, your source and click add. And then it would add it over to this list. So as you can see, I already use a few. I use some from EPG Share 01. I use some from Open EPG. It really just depends on what I need or what I'm not able to find. So let's go ahead and first take a look at Open EPG. All right, so first, this is Open EPG. This is a, one of the free ones that I do use. And what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna wanna start by clicking Guides by Country. So a couple things that you're gonna notice immediately. One, there is a ton of countries in here, but also within these, there's gonna be sub lists for these countries. So let's go all the way down to the US, for example. I believe there's something to the tune of 10 right now. Yes, we have 10 lists with varying channels. So a couple things that you're also going to see, you're going to see that there is a list of channels next to the name. And then you're also going to see this date here that's going to be in the order of day, month, year. What this date is, is going to be the last time that this EPG was refreshed. So as these get older, that's when the dates are going to change from green to orange to red, potentially on some of these. And it's just reflecting that the EPG could be out of date. It could not have the newest stuff in it in terms of any changes that have happened, as well as it may not be extended out to the days that you're watching. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on as you use some of these various sources. But let's go back to our example. We're looking for Motor Trend. So what we would do then is we'd first try to find the EPG that has it. You could add all of these lists. There's nothing stopping you from doing so, but it can sometimes get muddy trying to go through and find what you're looking for within all of them. So what I like to do is I like to start by clicking on this channels list. And what this is gonna open is a notepad type um, text document on the website that's gonna show you all of the EPGs that are included within that URL. And what I would like to do is I just open up a find and I will search for motor trend. So looks like this one does not have what we're looking for. So good start when we'll just move back and we'll go to the next one. I will just keep popping through these until I ultimately find it. All right, so that did not take long. This is just the United States number two. And I did find down here that we have Motor Trend HDTV. So this is then the one that I'm going to want to add to fill in the blank or the um, incorrect EPG that I may have. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back and grab then the link for that EPG. I do not know the difference between the two. I see the, the little suffix ending of the .dgz. I've always just used the top one and have had good success with doing so and I've had no issues with it. Um, maybe one of these times I'll experiment and see what the difference is or probably do a little Googling, but for now, let's just go ahead and use the top one. All right, so I copied the link and I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in here for the URL and I'm gonna go ahead and click add, but let me first make sure I don't already have it. All right, I don't. Don't know if that'll create an issue, but I don't wanna mess with it either. All right, so it does show now that the EPG source was added. It can be very quick. Some of these are rather large and I'll show you some instances of those and it may sometimes have difficulties uploading them because they're too large, but like I said, I'll show you that in the next source. So now if I click on Motor Trend and I go to select EPG source, I should be able to then come down here to the one that we just added, which would be United States 2. Go ahead and load this. And then I should be able to search within here for Motor Trend HD or HD TV, and then go ahead and click set. So you'll see this changes down here and you know it looks like the programming was correct it did change the hot rod garage 
This one doesn't seem to have the same details as the other one did. So that's where going through some of these other sources and seeing if it also might be in another one may be beneficial to you if you care about having the little preview about what else is on it, what episode, and then the talk through on that. All right, so now that I showed open EPG, let's move on to the next one, which is EP Share 01. So this one is EPG Share 01, a little less friendly appearance, but operates in the same way and I can show you in detail of how that works. So this is gonna function the same, like I said, it's just not as pretty, but you're gonna see that they do have country initials in here. So what we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do, at least in my instance, is come down to the US. So down here, we're gonna have a few options for US. We're gonna have the US locals, we're gonna have US sports, and then we have one that's listed as US2. So in the same way that the other one that we click the channel list to see what's in it, we're going to do the same, but this time it is truly a text file within the website. It's not as user friendly. So what I would do then for this, if I wanted to look for, say, my motor trend conundrum, I would click us2.txt to open up the text file. And then within here, I would then search again. So let's search motor. And we do have Motor Trend HD within this as well. So then we're gonna wanna go ahead and go back. And this one is a little more involved on how to in get the link. This link that's here is not the entirety of it. So what you have to do is you have to take this information as well as what is in the address bar. So what I went ahead and did first is I copied the address bar section of the URL and put it into the add source section. And then now I'm going to come back to this site and I am going to go ahead and grab the remaining part for this specific EPG. And now we're back to IPTV editor and I'm going to add the last part of it and click add. All right, so now same thing, our source has been added. What I can go ahead and do now is go to select EPG source, come down to the one that we just added, which is EPG share 01, EPG ripper US2. Go ahead and load this. Search Motor Trend again. Set it, and then we'll see the detail. So for this one, it is more complete. It's going to show that it is Hawk Rod Garage running from this time, and it's going to show what episode is running. So this may be an instance where you may prefer using that type of EPG over the other one. It's really up in the air sometimes they can be more involved from different sources this is why i kind of recommend for anything that you're not finding with an iptv editor have some options look around and see what best suits what you're looking for all right and that's going to bring us to the last one so this is one that i have recently seen online but i've not actually utilized myself this is ep genius and this is apparently curated lists from various users putting together um, EPG repositories for different countries, for different categories within some of the various providers. This is not one that I have interacted with. I've taken a look and seen that there's a couple of different ways to configure it where it asks for your information. It's not something that I'm comfortable providing. I don't wanna give my login information across. But as you can see, when you open up this, it'll tell you what kind of channels are included and updating within it. Um, I have noticed that there is a manual option and what you can do is come down here, click manual. You can bypass all this download information. You don't have to do any of this. And then within the next steps, you can actually use this link right here as the same way that we use the other links and import this into IPTV editor to leverage this EPG. Um, again, this isn't one that I've used. This is just one that I've seen. Wanted to kind of bring it up as a potential for someone if they're still having issues with the other um, three options that we've gone over before. There's no harm in having more options available to you. All right, and one last detail about EPG Share 01. What some of you may have noticed if you were paying close attention and looking at the titles here, that you would see that there is one here that is all sources. If we open up this text file, we see that it is quite literally all the sources available for all the various countries and the various subsets within the countries like we saw the US sports, we saw the US locals and the US too. The unfortunate part about this is the size. This link is huge in comparison. You can see the um, byte size. As it sits currently, IPTV editor has a hard time ingesting all of that information at once. 
that may be something that changes down the road, you know, something to, to look out for, because it would be much nicer, of course, to have one source that we could leverage to uh, look through. But for the time being, it's just unfortunately does not work that way. And I would also say for the cleanliness of updates, it would make more sense to use these individual ones as well. So hopefully one day it'll get to the point that we can use just one source and not have to juggle a bunch. But just for unfortunately for right now, that's just kind of what we have. So this is going to wrap up our kind of deeper dive of the EPG sources that are external to IPTV editor. Hopefully this will help some of you with any uh, missing guides that you are not able to find within IPTV editor. Fill those voids if you're OCD like me and you like a little completion in your life. Like before, if you did find this helpful, I would appreciate a like, subscribe. Let me know what I could do in future videos that might be able to help you down the road. I really appreciate the suggestions that I got on the prior and looking forward to the future ones.